America jumps into bed with Arabia, which doesn't exactly separate church and state. Excuse me, sir. Sir, 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 sir. Wait a second. You spoke, and I was quiet because I'm basically polite and also moderate. Now, if you haven't finished, finish and then tell me that's it, and then I'll speak, okay? Go on, finish. Okay, good. Why would, did we jump into bed with Kuwait long before this incident happened? Did anyone ever tell you that Great Britain doesn't separate church and state? Well, if they haven't, he just did. Sweden doesn't separate church and state. Norway doesn't separate church and state. America is an, an exception in the Western world. Most states do not separate church and state, including Canada. So where do you come off telling me, where do I get off telling you? I did not say that, but you... You have now raised... The, no, you're right. Israel has a different one. But you raised, first of all, the issue of, of separation of church and state, which I've dealt with. Now we come to Israel. The Jewish people, by definition, are both a religion and a nation. When a non-Jew wants to become Jewish, he isn't given some papers at, the, at, the, at some ministry. He goes to a rabbi and he converts through a, through a process of Judaism, religion. In the Bible, it states, you're an Am Kadosh, a holy people. So we are a people, a nation, and yet at the same time, a holy people, a religio nation, if, if you will. So by definition of what the Jew is, that is what his state is. And Islam has precisely the same concept. Christianity may have it, in many, many cases doesn't have it. Protestantism, for the most part, doesn't have it. The Catholic Church, for a long, long, long time, never and ever separated church and state until Martin Luther came and forced them to ease up. Judaism, long before there was Protestantism, there was Judaism. And long before there was Islam, there was Judaism. And throughout the ancient world, there was never separation of any kind. If you were an Edomite, you lived in the land of Edom. If you were a Moabite, you lived in Moab. If you were a Philistine, you lived in the land of the, the uh, Philistines. And no non-Edomite was a citizen of Edom. And that was the way things were until three to four hundred years, years ago. Now, you may think that the uh, American way is, uh, is, uh, is better, which is, I mean, uh, fine, good. Sir, don't go to Israel, okay? <laughs> then don't go to Israel. Stay here. I don't want to send my money there either. Well, then don't. Don't, we may survive. I, it, it'll be hard. It'll be hard. <laughs> but we may survive. The, sir, if you don't want to give us that, then we won't allow the Sixth Fleet to use the Hyphen Naval Base. <laughs> oh, really? You, you would be amazed how much, how much they uh, want it. And you'd be amazed how much it would cost how much a, the hyphen naval base would cost this country if it was in Greece or the Philippines or Spain. So if, if, if you, sir, fine, sir, you are an American and you have an absolute right and obligation to do what is best for America. I agree with you fully, which, that's exactly right. No argument here, no argument. You see, we agree. I'm gonna do what's best 
for my country. All right? And that's the way it is. Okay, good. That's it. You see that? Now that is an intellectual debate. Forget about it. I don't want the money. I don't want it. We have a platform. We don't want it. We don't want it. Give it to Arabia. Okay. Yes, sir.